we raise kids so differently to a few generations ago and i don't think we talk about why enough why do we put babies to sleep like this when my parents slept like this and why is smoking during pregnancy so taboo now when it was so normal back in the 1950s the answer is research but not any old research say i want to understand how people's childhoods affect their earnings in adulthood i could ask 20,000 40 year olds how much their parents earned whether they were breastfed whether they read a lot of books as a kid but I'm probably not going to get sensible answers. And I'm just getting a snapshot at 40, which doesn't tell me a lot. But what if we already knew all the answers to those questions? What if we'd been catching up with those people every few years since they were born to ask about their lives? That is called a birth cohort study. They are a really powerful way to understand the patterns that play out in our lives and in wider society, whether that's generational poverty or health inequality. There's been a bunch of these studies in the UK over the years looking at different generations, and the stuff they've taught us has informed everything from parenting advice to school policy. By allowing their lives to be studied, these volunteers have made everyone's lives better. But since the last UK birth cohort study 25 years ago, childhood has changed a lot, and there are a bunch of new questions about how kids today are going to grow up. So this is really exciting. This new birth cohort study is called Generation New Era and it's going to follow a group of children born in 2026. What would you want to know about modern childhood? Let us know in the comments.